So we're staying at Richmond for a couple of nights. Going to go and see Kronosaurus Corner and um, have a look, see what else. Might do a bit of fossicking and uh, yeah, catch up on a few things like washing. <laughs> Always washing. Okay, we're in uh, Kronosaurus Corner. We're going to have a look round, listen to a bit of audio, and take a few photos. At the moment we are inside a replica of Cambridge Downs homestead, I believe it is. Just a little display that you can come through and have a look. Uh, old gold pens, old artefacts, Drover's Rock. Rover's Rock, whatever that was. Old Dunny Can. Bit different to today. Display of memorabilia. Sunlight soap. But that's not that old because it says 500 grams. Now, we didn't use grams back then. Anyway. Here we go. Varying bits of pieces, bottles, old cameras, a few other things. Hmm, interesting. Okay, we're in Hewerton, Hewerton at the park. Maximum seven days, we're only gonna stay a night, maybe two. Uh, it's a sort of self-registration. And, well, that's our place for the night. This is the local lake, man-made lake. Um, there is swimming in there. There's a play area over here for the kids. day use area and like I said the toilets aren't that far away from the camp. This walkway goes all the way around the other side. I'm not going to do it now because the sun's getting a bit low. Come back out over there and uh, it'll be dark by the time I get there. I'll get back. This is the play area. Nice. Yeah. 
of it, yeah, it gets uh, used quite a lot in the summer in these warmer months. Yeah, we've, we've been um, doing the dinosaurs trails all the way around. And we've been to Winton, Age of Dinosaurs. We've been to the Stampede, Dinosaur Stampede. We've also been up to Richmond and saw the Cronosaurus Corner. And we went to the uh, History Centre here at uh, Yorton. Unfortunately, the one here is a bit of a mishmash of fossils from, well, not local. They're from overseas, China, Africa. There are some local fossils, but um, not what I was hoping to see. But uh, the one I would recommend um, is the best, I would say, would be Cronosaurus Corner. That was more, well, I don't know, how do you pronounce it? They were all good in their own way, but Cronosaurus Corner was, uh, you, you wandered through at your own time with your own little, uh, well, little headpiece that you could actually hear. You, didn't, you weren't rushed. It was good. You could take your time. Quick uh, video, we're at the Whistling Boarhead. Um, <laughs> you've got to have really good hearing, but it does actually whistle. If you put your ear on there, you won't pick it up on the phone. You can actually hear it whistling. So, something else we've seen. Made my day. We're just at the Gorge Lookout entrance. We're gonna take a bit of a walk and see how good this actual lookout is. I'm not sure, I don't think it's too far. Hopefully it's not too far. <laughs> at least it's a nice at least it's a nice path. Uh, yeah. See how we go. Okay. Oh no, this is that wasn't very far at all. Quick walk to the viewing platform, and this is a bit different up to the actual gorge up around where the uh, where the uh, campground is. And this one drops off pretty much straight away. Okay, zoom in a bit. A little bit. There we go. That's down the gorge. And up the gorge. Yeah. It's a bit different, but it does drop off straight over the edge here. So I wouldn't be going too close to the edge because you don't know you know how stable it is. Looks some of the rocks look a bit loose. You can see in places where they've actually where they've actually fallen off, so well not people, where the rocks have fallen off. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, no people down there, not that I know of. Zoom in down the bottom here. Try. No, it's not doing it. Oh yeah, there we go. Bit of water down there. Apparently there's fish, turtles, and a few other things. A bit of noise from down there. Don't know what that is. Must be a bird making a racket. Anyway, that's it.